Hey friends, all for art and art for all. This is going to be kind of a wooden bucket. So this is supposed to look like wood, almost like a barrel that's strung together. We're going to start with the basic foreshortened circle. So I'll get the big foreshortened circle. And I'm going to go around the outside of that. That's going to be the top of my pail. Um, I didn't leave a lot of room for my handle, so I think my handle's going to put a little circle where my handle will start. And I'm going to bring it up and over. And then I'm going to put a A wooden handle on it and we'll just make it look like that's got some wood grain on it so that's the top of the handle and then the sides of my bucket are gonna come down at an angle and the bottom will have a rounded contour that matches that one and then, since this is made of wood, you would see the top of each block come over and then go straight down. So maybe there's another one there. This one will come out and go down. Another one coming to the edge and then down, out, and down, out. And down. This one we just see it go out. So it's going to go out and straight down and out and down. And then because this is barrel style, it would have a ring holding it. I'm just going to go over the edge just a little bit to show that it's a, um, you know, that it is actually it does have some thickness. We'll color that in black. And we'll put another ring down here. Goes over the edge just the tiniest bit because it's a band of metal holding it all together. And then let's add some shading. So if the light were coming this way, shining, this part here would be dark. So putting some cross hatching lines and then making them more solid here on this side. And then here, I'm going to put some contour lines that come a little less than halfway around. So I'm tracing kind of the shape of the bottom of my pail. And then I'm going to make it a little darker on this part. And that will make it look like it's shaded. And then I might have a shadow. My whole bucket might have a shadow. And get my shadow drawn in. That'll make it really look 3D. So again, to decide where my shadow goes and which sides get lights and darks, I decide where the light would be coming in. So if there's a light shining here, it would hit the side of the bucket. It wouldn't show in the inside, but it would hit this part of the bucket. And I'm going to put some more cross hatches right there. Kind of ease into that shading and there we go there's my 3d bucket all for art and art for all